this code sample includes a simple HTML file that includes a script element that refers the list.js library and a link element uh, for using a CSS file that takes care after the look and feel. Now when this uh, HTML file is displayed, this is what we get. Now pressing uh, sort by first name or sort by last name or by average we get all data sorted and displayed accordingly. Here we can start typing uh, text and get just those um, items that match the text being uh, typed. Now here we have a div element with uh, the ID students, meaning that we want the list to be displayed instead of this uh, div element. So instead of this uh, div element, the list will be displayed. Now on the bottom, we create a, an object with the key value pair, value names, and an array of uh, strings, strings which are actually the names of the data elements each list item includes. Uh, over here we create the list object, we pass over the ID of the div where the list should be displayed and the object we created with the property value names that its value is an array of strings, strings which are actually names of the data elements each list item includes. Now this code in JavaScript when executed the list is displayed. Now as you can see the whole list is displayed instead of this div element. Now let's take a look at this input uh, text field. Placing class equals search means that this is a search text field. Now placing the button element with the class sort in addition with the uh, um, data sort equals f name means that pressing uh, this button the data will be sorted according to the f name values each list item includes. The same with uh, the other two buttons for sorting according to L name and according to average. Now over here we can see each one of the list items the list includes and this is the output. 